Hi guys and welcome to the bonus snail mail video. So this weekend was my 28th birthday and we had such a fantastic time celebrating together. And I always love celebrating like birthdays or special events, holidays, when I can really share it with people and share just the happiness and the joy with everybody. And you guys were fantastic. It was so wonderful. Just the kind comments, the amazing letters, the fan art, just the outpouring of everything. I was so happy to be able to share like the special Easter event we had on zoo crafting to be able to share my excitement about joining the spring UHC. It was fantastic. And there were also a couple packages waiting for me for like birthday gifts that were behind the counter at the PO box. So I'm kind of nervous and excited to open these. These actually came before my birthday and when I went to the post office on Saturday, they closed like right in front of me and I wasn't able to pick them up from behind the counter. So as soon as I felt good enough this morning, I went and I picked them up and we actually have two packages that arrived and and this a little envelope that already showed up into the like little PO box, which is just, you guys are amazing. It's still really like, oh my gosh, people are like sending me things. It's still one of the most exciting things. It's like Christmas all the time. It's amazing. But just really quickly, once again, thank you all so much just for your support through watching, commenting, anything, just that you're part of our community. And I really hope you saw some of the fantastic artwork that we got this weekend. So that was, oh my gosh, some of the stuff was just amazing. I have inchworms now. I have so many little figurines that are starting to decorate my desk and I'm really eager to find out what's in here. So this is going to be our short little extra snail mail, bonus snail mail to open up these packages. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. And this one is from Hannah. It just says Hannah on the front. This is the one that arrived today. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up and we're going to see what's inside. So Hannah, and you can hear my happy birds are like singing along in the background. All right. So here we go. All right, two Siri, and I think we've got some beautiful, <gasps> Woo! what do we have in here? Dear Siri, you're kind, sweet, and enjoyable. The rescued snake sadly passed away, sniff, sniff. So when we rescue a turtle, I asked if this time I can take care of it, and now he's alive and well. Yes, he is not in my house. In fact, my friend has him. I gave her facts, but she already knows how to take care of him. That's really awesome. When my friend and I uh, worked at a pet shop, we actually also ran a reptile rescue on the side. And she was so knowledgeable about reptiles. And I learned so much from her. It was really an amazing experience. So I'm really glad to hear that you are having this, Hannah. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's see. I've had seven turtles in my lifetime too. Anyways, if we give you a tree, <laughs> oh, I love wolves, hashtag I love wolves, that's adorable. Oh, and she's drawn, she's even drawn like the little butterflies and a butterfly net. This is so pretty. I love how it's got roots and flowers. Hannah, this is gorgeous. Hi Siri, this is my third time of sending mail to you. Hope you like it. Also, I have set up a game for you, Objective. There are clues on each picture. This is so cool. There are clues on each picture. Find out what series they are and write them down below. The ones that have the title doesn't count. Oh, so you've got to like figure out. Oh, okay. Clue, look at the children's health bar. Okay, so you've got to figure out which series this is. Copper and Lunala, uh, they don't really care about their kids, that's true. In Wolf Quest, Copper and Lunala are our wolves who are kind of more enchanted with each other. And we've got them like watching out for eagles. We've got coyotes who are coming up. And Copper and Lunala are a little bit more into each other than like paying attention to their pups. So far, their pups have stayed alive. Oh my gosh, that's really. Look, you can see they're like licking their, each other's tongues. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. So, clues. So, Wolf Quest, I think. And then Clue, and it's a Minecraft block up here. So is this gonna be zoo crafting? You look way nicer, but I just suck at drawing people, lols. And so, oh, this is the Walnut Center. So here we are, here is me, here's Zookeeper Siri, and then here's the squirrel in the Walnut Center right here. So there we go. So we've got Wolf Quest and Minecraft. I'm gonna have to put all this together. And then the ones with the title doesn't count. So here we have Slime Rancher. And uh, Siri, where's the chicken killer? I think chickens are die I think chickens dying is the way of life. Why do slime slimes get to stay alive? Not fair. Oh gosh, look at that slime. And we should have a slime rancher update pretty soon too, I'm really hoping. And then Zoo Tycoon 2. Siri, where is it? I've been waiting a long time. Uh, I haven't seen an episode of it for almost a month, and don't worry, we'll have more Zoo Tycoon 2 soon. And we've actually had an episode about a week and a half ago, so it's, like keep an eye out on the playlist, especially in our active playlist series. Oh, and then here's a clue again. 
So here's our Warrior Cat series. And there is Briarstalk and Honeywish. So this must be Fern Creek, who's Briarstalk's mate. Very suspicious about what's going on over here. Goodness, uh, it's okay. A lion leaf is in the past. Okay, hee <laughs> hee, oh gosh. The drama we have in all of our series. And then here's a clue where Leia doesn't like me at all and Haley likes me a lot and I'm like, why? And this would be Stardew Valley, one of my favorite series. <laughs> oh my goodness. I guess everyone has different tastes and that's when she's like throwing the jelly and everything. I tried giving her to people. Like I tried giving Leia so many things and she's just like, I guess everybody has different tastes. And it's like, no, I'm trying to like make you my friend. And she just ignores me completely. I love Stardew Valley so much. Oh, I'm gonna have to put all that together and figure out what the game is. That is just so fun. I love that little game that you put together. Thank you so much, Hannah, that is wonderful. I love all of your art too. I'm gonna put this in with your other art too. Oh gosh, and that was so creative. So thank you so much, Hannah. I'm really happy to have it again. And I do see this, so I will take care of that. So don't you worry. All right, and then we've got this package right here, and this is from Tatum. So Tatum, and it has, it says B B B B B B B all over the tape. B B B B. That's really cool. <laughs> Fun fact: that's my sister's nickname is B. All right, so let's see what we've got hiding inside here. I'm gonna gently open it up. This is one of the packages. I know I've had a couple people who are like, Siri, Siri, I sent a package. I can't wait for you to see what's it. What's there? Oh, it's a box. It's a box. Let's see what's going on in here. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> this is like one of the coolest things ever to get something so big. Ah, all right, let's find out what's inside of it. Even the birds have gone quiet. They're like, what's going on? What's going on over there? Oh, it's really like tightly wrapped. This is a good wrap job. I'm gonna have to wiggle it out. All right, let's see if I can. Oh, that's why the tape got on it. Okay, give me just a second. We're gonna go ahead and just gently cut through this. Brings back all sorts of memories of, there we go, working in nursing. All right, and almost there, almost there. Doo -doo. There we go. Don't worry, <laughs> I promise it's not the package there. All right, so we've got this interesting box that we need to get out of here. There we go. All right, Siri, that's what it says. So we have Siri on the front of the box. I'm gonna go ahead and gently cut it open to figure out what's inside. I'm really, I'm kind of, I'm just so excited. Okay, all right, there we go, there we go. Yes, okay, all right. This is it, this is it, we're gonna open it up. You guys are ready? Oh, look at all the color! Oh my gosh, what's in here? Okay, I've gotta open it really carefully to figure out what this is. So here's a letter to Siri, and it has a little heart on it, look at that, that's so sweet! Oh my goodness! Dear Siri, my name is Tatum and I am 13 years old. I collected these shells for you while I was at the beach today. I'm your biggest fan and I love your Warrior Cat series. Could you please name a cat Stormwish? I live in um, Oregon on the coast and there are lots of storms here. You are my fave YouTuber and I hope you can write me back. Your biggest fan, Tatum. Thank you so much, Tatum. Oh my gosh, in Oregon? Wow, and there's seashells in here? Okay, let me see. Oh, I think this is some fan art. Okay, let's see what this is. Oh, it's some moss leaf fan art. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. I am I am so in love with our Warrior Cat series, you guys. I don't really see it ending anytime soon. It's probably gonna go like generation after generation. Oh, Tatum. All right, let's see what kind of beautiful shells she has sent in here. I think they're wrapped in this colorful paper. How fun is that? So let's go ahead and find out what little treasures are waiting for us. Or, oh, oh, this is a padded. I get it now. Okay, that's very smart, because seashells. Oh, there's a rock. A rock just fell out. Hang on a second, I get it. The paper was the padded. Oh, this rock is so cute. It's a love rock, look at that. Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Oh my gosh. I wonder where that is. Is that in Oregon? So I think that's like to have a little map piece. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm gonna put that on my desk. That is so sweet. And then we go, oh, I hear seashells. <laughs> oh my goodness, seashells. My mom loves seashells. She collects them, so anytime someone sends me any, I like to take pictures of them and share them with her. It's a really fun way to share a hobby that she has together. And let's go ahead and see. So these are special organ seashells. <gasps> Whoa. Okay. 
What? Okay, so first off, we've got this piece right here. So it might be a little hard because the camera's gonna be like, no, I don't wanna focus on it. Oh, camera, come on. Here, all right, you guys have to see this because it's so pretty. So let me see if I can get it. Nope, not when it's in selfie mode. All right, so we've got this amazing, beautiful piece right here. And then we've got this piece. Oh, I love this. You guys, it's a crab. <laughs> This is a little piece of a crab. Isn't that so cool? I love collecting these pieces. I need to see if I can find my one from Ocracoke, which is here on the East Coast, an island here on the East Coast, and compare it to an Oregon crab. That's so neat. Oh my gosh, look at that. All right, and then we've got, what do we have right over here? Very delicate, little, beautiful white shells. Look at those stripes and that striation. That is so cool. Oh, I'm gonna love setting these out and sharing them with my mom. I still love this one too. Look at that color. That is so cool. And that's just like one of the little packages. Oh my gosh. So let's see what we have in here. I'm gonna open it in my lap. Organ sand! Wow, that's actually, I know this is gonna sound weird. Can I get any in my fingers to show you guys? Let's see. Because it actually is like a different color than yeah, well, it looks like sand there, but it's a different darker color than the sand that's around here, that's for sure. Hopefully, uh, Chips and I will be going to the beach, the Outer Banks in North Carolina soon, and I will be able to show you guys all of the awesome stuff that is out there. So, ooh, look at these. Okay, and then we've got, oh my gosh, we've got some really big, beautiful shells. Oh my gosh, oh, look at that. It had a little growth in it. Oh, and you can actually see so what you see here is probably a part where a predatory creature came in and you can't really see it. You can just very vaguely see it. You see this line right here? Probably a little worm or the creature that managed to get into the shell and we are looking at evidence of a murder right here, you guys. That's one of the things I love so much about seashells. And then I think it popped in or popped like in through like a crack somewhere, got in and ate the clam inside. So you can find out how the clam died. A lot of these shells actually will tell you the, the story, the murder mystery story of what happened to them. And we've got these beautiful pieces. My mom could probably rattle off these names in Latin to let you guys know what they are, how old they are, if they're fossilized or not. She's gonna be really jealous of the one I'm gonna show you guys in just a second here. These are so pretty, these are so pretty. So let me very gently pick them up. So we've got some pretty pieces right here. Look at these little guys, little mussel shells, I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me, I'm still not a seashell expert. That's my mom's territory and she's teaching me though. Then we've got this piece right here. These are really nice ones and they're pretty colors. Look at that, look at that. Oh, they're so nice. And then you guys, the one that I know my mom is going to be like having a fit of jealousy over. You guys ready? Look at this. Look at this sand dollar. I have never seen such a pretty sand dollar. Look at that. That is fantastic. Oh my gosh, my mom's gonna love it. I love it. Oh my gosh. I'm going to put that very delicately and carefully over on my desk so I can look at it. I have other coral pieces and shells. Like here's a shell that I got in Ocracoke when I was there with my parents. And then here is a shark tooth that someone in Florida, one of you guys sent me. And then here is a seashell from Hawaii that my mom got me uh, as a gift. And then it's a sunrise seashell. Here's the seashell that Ila sent me from Hawaii. I love it, one of many that she sent me. And so this piece is going to go join them. So look at how gorgeous that is. That is just so exciting. Oh my gosh. All right, so I'm gonna very gently put that down. Tatum, thank you so much. I will take very good care of those seashells. I am very excited. That'll give my mom and I something to talk about and bond over for quite some time. So that is so awesome, thank you. I am in love with having a little piece of the crab. I know Chips is gonna be like, ah, cause he, he laughs about Spartacus. You can see Spartacus, that is the um, hermit, hermit crab. <laughs> the, the horseshoe crab that you can see over here in the corner. And he, he's been there for a while, but I'm not allowed to bring home skulls and things that I find on the trails. So that's kind of like the borderline between being a skull and not a skull. And then finally, we have this amazing gift from Katie in Georgia. And oh my gosh, look at the packaging. 
Look at this, there's space, look at that. And you turn it on the side. Plants are love, plants are life, I love it. And then so much to do in the zoo, and we're gonna cut along here to open. And then we've even got some Minecraft characters. I'm definitely gonna have to keep this box forever and ever so that it can hold all of the awesome treasures you guys send me, all of the beautiful drawings. And then I even noticed this when I picked it up. It says, it's the back, it's the bottom of the box here. What did you expect? I laughed so hard when I saw that. So Katie, let us see what is hiding inside of this package. Because I have been very curious about this. Oh my gosh, it's like celebrating my birthday again and again and again. You guys are just so amazing. I hope I can bring you just some of the joy that you are giving to my daily life. This is just fantastic. All right, and then let's see. I want to make sure. Here's a little more tape. Siri and tape have kind of an interesting relationship. And then we're going to carefully open this. There we go. All right, so let's see what's inside, you guys. All right, oh, this is Phil, AKA King Philip James Sprinkles the third. Look at this, <laughs> look at how cute that is. That is adorable, oh my gosh. And then it has open before reading package right here. So I'm gonna open this up, oh, this is fun. And you can read this on screen. Siri, it's me, Katie B. We're friends on Horse Haven. Katie, <laughs> I know which Katie I'm talking to now. I have always wanted to write to a YouTuber, but never really uh, felt like I just simply had to until I found your channel. Once I saw you were opening your PO box, I was very excited. I would have written right away, but I've had a busy few weeks. In the past 30 days, I have been to London, Paris, Dallas, and Chicago. Phew, oh my gosh, that's amazing. I have never been out of the country yet. I'm actually getting ready uh, in the next couple of years. Chips and I will be traveling abroad to Asia. Um, probably to Thailand or Japan or China for his research and we're gonna stay there a long time and you guys will be coming with don't worry but oh my goodness that is I am so envious Katie because that is amazing I wish I had traveled that much in my young life more travel in two weeks to Denver than Nashville so many planes it's wonderful going to all these places but it doesn't leave much time to get things done at home if you're curious and I know you are I work for a convention called FanFest oh I've heard of them that is amazing we travel all over the the country putting on shows for Walking Dead and superhero fans. My day job is way more boring. I'm a cashier. Anyway, the point of all this, I greatly admire you and your ethics. It's wonderful to find a person so optimistic and upbeat. I love that you never use any bad language, and I have recently started saying, what the heck a doodle, so thanks for that. <laughs> that is so awesome, Katie. And yeah, that's just kind of a side effect of I didn't grow up with it in my family, and then I was a nanny and a elementary school teacher, like, well, not like in elementary school, but I taught elementary students so I just am like goose bucket what what the heck a doodle it just starts being part of your daily life and I in my whole family is like you know you never say a bad word and I'm like no it doesn't it's not even like rattling around in there to think about it so it's really cool to, to know it makes our community feel more safe for so many people when you said that the greatest thing you had accomplished in life was that you had learned to love yourself, it struck a chord with me. I'm 28 now. We're the same age, Katie. We're the same age. I just turned 28. I, so it's easier to be true to myself. But when I was younger, it was so hard to do. It really is. It's taken a long time to get here. I didn't want anyone to know I was a nerd. <laughs> She's written it like so cool. I love this. It didn't go very well. I was so untrue to what I like and I liked. And as a result, I was very unhappy with my life, my friends. Thankfully, I made a friend who started me on the way to accepting me and all my weird quirkiness. I can say it proudly now, I'm a huge nerd and my friends are nerds. I go to conventions, I cosplay, and above all, I'm happy. I am gonna cry, like this is just, like the, I have this box of stuff I haven't even looked at yet because it's like it's safely hidden by bubble wrap and I'm like already gonna cry because that is what it is all about, you guys. I am right there with you, Katie. I really wasn't true to myself when I was growing up because I just wanted to fit in and it just felt easier just to kind to go along with the flow of like people are into this people are into that and look at what has happened as the result of being true to myself and just being in my own tiny little world for so long and deciding to share my stories I found tens of thousands of people who also love the same things. Isn't it so fantastic? I am so happy to hear that you like have your awesome friends and you're going to conventions. So you've seen the crowds of people that are out there who share the same passions that you have. And I think that's one of the most amazing things because when you don't feel alone with what you love, it can really help you be more gentle to yourself. And I just wish everybody could have that because I think if you can truly have that sense of, of peace 
of having your flaws and your quirks, but not having to be like <sighs> stressed. You can just kind of go, yeah, this is me. And when you can hit the, yeah, this is me point, life is just, it's so different. It's so different. And I'll have to make all sorts of vlogs on the vlog channel. Or like, if you guys want, I can try to do some sort of main channel Q and A about like struggles I went through in being bullied when I was younger and just being mean to myself. I was my worst bully, <laughs> trust me. And then moving into this, Katie, this is, I am really happy right now. I'm like tempted to try to go to one of the conventions you're at so I can meet you now. Oh, that would be so cool. So hearing you spread such a wonderful story and message of self-acceptance makes me love you all the more. Be you and be proud of it. Um, <laughs> of course, accepting this nerdy side of myself means I spend way too much on memorabilia. <laughs> yes. I spend way too much on a lot of plants, trust me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, enough mushy stuff. On to the fun part, the contents of the package. Oh boy. All right, stuff. And th these were very hard to part with. Enjoy them, you two. Um, flakes are amazing. Ooh, ooh, so sweet. Remember how I said I went to London? I did a candy swap, American for British, um, while I was there. Oh, so like swapping American candy for British candy. That is such a brilliant idea. I didn't even think about that. When you said the chips always eats your chocolate, I knew I had to share. One for chips, one for you. Included two Cadbury flake chocolate bars, strawberry and cream Cadbury bar to share. And marvel one Marvelous Creations Cadbury Bar and Rocking Mallow Road. Oh my gosh, there's a huge list of candy here. To be honest, oh, there's two bags of Bishop's Candies, one rhubarb and custard, and one cola cubes. To be honest, I wasn't brave enough to try these. I don't have a very adventurous taste and doubt I would like them very much. The woes of being a super taster. Five-ish of my favorite cough drops. They taste like candy, and I know you've got a rough throat, yes, from all the talking. Talking to us all the time can't be easy. They are Hall's Breeze and Cool and Berry packets. Two packages of Maltese hot chocolate. I insist you snuggle up with a cup of cocoa and watch the sunset with chips. Oh my gosh, that is the sweetest thing. This cocoa isn't quite as sweet as American cocoa, so I think you'd enjoy it, and chips can add some sugar to his to sweeten it up. Oh gosh, more stuff awaits. Oh my goodness. There's like this list of stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna glance through it really quick and then I'll show you the stuff so let me see what what okay I need to find some of this a pretty hibiscus hair clip oh my gosh I saw you wanted to put a flower in your hair for real in the vlogs so until you get a real one I hope this will do fan art something very special I make tiny hats I haven't I haven't glanced into the box yet so this is kind of like an exciting sneak peek I'm carefully reading away from the box um, it's become my trademark at conventions, and my email is even tinyhatkady at gmail.com. I have made one custom for you. I tried to include as many games and you play as I could, and that phosphor plort there, there's a phosphor plort. I still haven't looked in the box yet. I'm so excited. And that phosphor plort there isn't looking so great now that it's been ex exposed to bright light. Maybe you should put it somewhere dark. Oh, I think that's a hint. Oh my gosh. The grass is real Spanish moss. Tiny Hat continued. There's also a Minecraft wolf to represent not only Minecraft, but wolf quest as well. The horse is for Horse Haven on Star Stable, and the cat is Warriors, and by proxy, Sims. I couldn't find any Gouldian Finches, so hopefully a Gouldian Finch, uh, a Golden Finch will have to represent your little friends. Tweet, tweet. Anyway, I hope you enjoy everything. It's an absolute joy to watch your videos, and I look forward to many more. With great admiration, Katie. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Katie. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna look down now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You guys look, it's an actual hibiscus. It's an actual hibiscus for my hair. Oh my goodness. Oh, that just fits right into place, doesn't it? Oh, I'm feeling the Hawaiian vibes. I'm feeling the Hawaiian vibes right now. Oh, I'm gonna have to show chips. This is so cool. This is so cool. And then let me see what we've got in here. We have got the chocolates. I'm going to have to share these with Chips. He's going to be so excited to see these. He loves chocolate a lot. And then we've got some Cadbury twirls. Look at those. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> these are so fun. I've never had candy from outside the US before. So, oh, look at these. So we have the rhubarb and custard candies. That's going to be really fun to try one time. 
Oh my goodness, rhubarb and custard. But you know, a lot of my friends in the UK, I know that Pavo and Alex and Ben have told me that like rhubarb is really delicious and I've never had rhubarb. So I'm gonna have to try that out. There's the Halls treat for my throat. Thank you so much. I've been feeling a little sick from the um, from the allergies lately. Here's the cola cubes. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> and then we've got, oh, look at that. That looks amazingly delicious. Doesn't that look so good? A candy swap, and you've shared your candy loot with me. You've shared your candy loot. Look at that, that is so fun. That is so fun. You guys, oh my goodness, look at this tiny hat. Oh my gosh, I've never seen something so cute. Look at everything. We've got our horses, we've got a cat. Oh, our warrior cat, oh my gosh, it's even felted. Okay, this is so cool. Butterflies, look at all of the slime parts. Look at those, oh my goodness. Oh, and the beautiful golden finch and the Spanish, and the YouTube sign and the zoo. Oh my gosh. This is, Katie, thank you. This is absolutely stunning. I just, thank you so much. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so thoughtful and creative. I'm gonna have to, I wanna see if it glows in the dark. I'm gonna have to see if that, that phosphor port glows in the dark and I'm gonna have to play with it because my hair, wait, wow, that's really easy to get in. Okay, I think I need to scooch it up a little bit. All right, you guys, hang on. I've gotta put Katie's tiny hat on. And you saw Katie's tiny hat, or tiny hat Katie. I'm gonna have to read it again. Oh no, <laughs> I have a lot of hair for it to get stuck in. So let's try putting it to the side like this maybe. <laughs> that is so cute and it fits in so well because at first I wasn't sure if it would stay on. Oh my gosh, look, I can shake my head and it's staying right there. I'm going to have to walk in and just see Chips' reaction when I walk in and be like, so Chips, what do you think? And oh, um, this is going to be amazing. This is going to be amazing. And we've got more delicious looking, ooh, dairy milk, strawberry and cream limited edition chocolates. And we've got some more delicious chocolates. These are going to be really fun. This is nice. This is so nice. Oh, he's gonna be so excited to see all of these. And we've got the Halls pieces. And then finally, my friends, we have, I'm gonna very gently put this down, we have some fan art, I think. If that's what we read, that was really cool to have that list too. And I did see the extra bits. I will be reading those off camera. What? Crimson Winged Tropic series. Look at that. Oh, I'm gonna have to put it up on my wall. This is amazing. This is so amazing. Katie, Katie, the creativity and the joy and the thoughtfulness that just radiates off of everything that you've done, everything that you've given me. Katie, I am so happy. Please, everyone who's seeing this, let this be a lesson to you in what happens when you just accept the things that you love and you just accept yourself and you just let yourself be. Katie and I are both living very happy, creative, fulfilling lives right now and I really hope you guys can combine some of that too and oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to put this in a frame. I, I need a new office when we move so I can frame so many of the things you guys have sent and I am just blown away. This is fantastic. This is just, this is just so fantastic. And then just everything, everything. And then Hannah's beautiful drawings. You guys, look at my cute tiny hat. Let me, let me read her name again so you guys can see. If you guys like the tiny hats, then you guys need to go check. And Katie, where is your name? Tiny hat, tiny hat, tiny hat, something very special. Tiny hat Katie at gmail.com. So, oh my goodness, this is amazing. So Katie, Thank you so much. <laughs> this is absolutely adorable. It is so thoughtful and creative and beautiful. And I love you guys so much. I don't even know how I can express it other than to keep doing everything I can to share the message of just accepting yourself and all of your quirks and just letting that be okay. Because then you have all this beautiful self-love and energy and just patience with yourself to let all this beautiful creative stuff start showing up and I think it's amazing and thank you so much thank you so much everybody you have made this one of the not only most amazing birthdays and most amazing years of my life 
but it just you have all transformed my life and I really hope from the bottom of my heart I can do whatever it takes to throw myself into our adventures and throw myself into our our future together whatever it's going to be wherever I am when I end up in Asia when I'm still going to be here in the US I'm going to be doing everything I can to include you guys on the journey and I have no idea where we'll go and I'm really excited to share it with all of you and Katie wow and Tatum Hannah, thank you all so much. And thank you all so much for joining me as we open up the last of the birthday gifts. And this is, I'm just so happy. I'm just so happy and I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day too. And thank you. And like, like I say again and again and again, just I hope you guys are able to accept your passions and your quirks and make them yours and have the fantastic creative energy you get when you do that. And I will see you all next time. Bye guys. <laughs>